So guys, these are uh, these are gonna be the new ones. So we're, this is an uh, official street unboxing. Yeah. Can yeah. sound it like? Back to the channel welcome back to the vlog and welcome to new york city we are out here yeah check it out i'm with uh christian right there tying his shoe we are actually right outside of z100 new york's number one hit music station this is uh also the building for power 1051 which is the breakfast club one of my favorite morning radio shows aside from howard stern but we're not here for any interviews or anything like that at least not yet we're actually here to pay a visit to a a friend of mine who actually owns a DJ store or an equipment store sound and lighting store out here in New York City and it's actually in Canal Street so that is where we're headed to right now we're headed to Canal sound and light and I'm also gonna pick up some equipment from him so we're killing two birds with one stone and I figure since I'm out here why not also film a little spot with Jeff so that I can show you guys Canal sound and lighting store. Yeah. What's up, man? How are you? Good, man. This is Christian. Hold on, hold on. Say what's up to my channel, man. Hold on. Oh. Give me one second. All right, guys. We are here at Canal, and I am here with the man, the myth, the legend. This is my friend, Jeff <laughs> Jeffrey. What do you like to be called? Jeff Jeffrey? Jeff Jeffrey. <laughs> <laughs> From uh, Canal, Sound and Light. So uh, show us around, man. Welcome to the channel. Welcome to the vlog. <laughs> yeah, the first thing you see is ADJ AV3 pants. I saw these at Mobile. They're dope, yeah. man. Studio monitors. You got all the toys which was your favorite i, I kind of partial to the uh to the care case care case yeah that's what i have assortment of cables yeah, all the cables my collection here got a lot of wireless mics. same ones over here right that's our rental section are you guys rent lights and everything we rent mirror balls lights and all that yeah. is that a big part of your business rentals yeah we do a lot of gigs that we operate we, we did 570 gigs last year rentals are in addition to that wow what's the biggest thing you got uh is rent like speakers speakers dj equipment we, we do riders for like um a track. Oh wow. Major lasers. So they send over pretty much the rider and then you guys just provide the equipment, yeah. whatever's on there. Those guys are like partial of the pioneer, right? <laughs> some, some are CDJ CDJ, some are like uh, turntables, regular turntables. So let's let's go check out the rest. Here we are. What's up man? How are you? Fix speakers too? Mm -hmm. You do sp fix speakers. We can, yeah, we can. I get a lot of questions. People asking me to fix speakers. I didn't know you guys fixed them. We have uh, crossovers, drivers. Uh, I mean, you gotta go. Yeah, you can go around the other. Yeah, see a lot of different parts. Oh, so these are JBL parts and stuff. I didn't know you guys did this. So we got speaker parts over here, top of the, for regular top, and then 18s down here for big subwoofers, huh? Yeah, and then 15s, and then we got some mid-range drivers do you assemble speakers we've done it in the past but that's not a really common thing anymore yeah that used to be a thing back in the day people used to yeah. buy like housing and then build their own yeah, speakers their yeah. box. the first time i tried to buy dj speakers it was a guy who was like oh i built these these are better than anything you can buy in the market I'm like nah i'm not buying that At point companies have a lot of r d involved they just uh, done a better job but if you have like an old speaker you could upgrade your like, like let's say you could upgrade your jbl with a nicer woofer like a bnc woofer or like an rcf woofer. oh yeah you could do that you could do that I didn't know that. How expensive is it to fix? Does it make more sense to get it's like speakers fixed or does it make more sense to go out and buy it? I would say it's, it makes more sense to fix them because really? the woofer is like two, three hundred bucks. Two, three hundred bucks yeah. and the speaker is like six hundred bucks, you're right? You're just unscrewing, uh, you know, a bunch of screws. It's not rocket science? No. And then you're, you're just connecting, reconnecting it here. So. Over here we got all the mixers. Seven, everybody's favorite. Everything you see is like connected. Oh damn, it's it's all around. I just realized that there's yeah, behind yeah. me too. All these speakers are connected. Yeah. So you can preview a speaker? Exactly. So can you preview one for me? Yeah, of course. Let's preview out some speakers. You guys always talk about the EV stuff. This is it. This is the EV ETX. Yeah. This is comparable to the SRX, right? Yes. Let's hear it. Crank it up. Woman, you're really fine. You're about to blow my mind. Everything is gonna be alright. Just hold me tight, let's break it tonight This is love, us rock, we in our J style This is love, us rock 
That sounds good, man. The JBL, the double 18. You, you were asking about the double 18. I was like, are you gonna really travel? With Whoa, this, that's the double 18? Yeah. I was like, man, is he really gonna travel with this? Yeah, that's what I was thinking of getting. That's the double 18. That's hey, huge. So I was talking to Jeff. I told him that. I wanted one of these. I had no idea how big it was. My idea is to get SRX Dual, just one dual speaker. And what I will do is I'll put the SRX in front of my facade and get the ladies to dance on top of the subwoofer. My logic behind it is that one dual 18 SRX is gonna be smaller than two JBL PRX 718s. Damn, this is the JBL double 18 SRX. Yeah, good call on that. He told me. He was like, you sure you want to carry that thing around? I had no idea. Size-wise, you think these are smaller than two PRX 718s? This got to be smaller than two PRX 718s. But still, I still have to carry this. This is Christian, and this is the speaker that I was planning on getting, the SRX Dual 18. The single 18 is right there. That's this is the single. more manageable. Is it bad if I mix like SRX with PRX sub? <clears throat> no. No, I want to have the matching. You know? it's more psychological. I mean, if you 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 want to match them, if you want to match output. I mean, I don't know about you, but a lot of people aren't going for crazy bass. Now, sound and light sound demo right here. We're gonna preview the this one, this one. But this one is huge, though. This is a this is their 15. Why is it so big? This is huge. This is a three-way or? No, this is the three-way. This is a two-way. Yeah. It's massive. So this is the, the QSC 15 KW. Well, you, we think like if you're making an investment like this, you better you better come come test drive it. This is uh. This is what I just sold. This is what I had. Yeah. I'm looking at the price, man. I think I think I got ripped off because I sold mine for a thousand bucks, two pairs. Well, yeah, you said it, so you know. Is that a good deal? You think? I, I think that if if so, somebody that has a lot of use out of their stuff, you should have to kind of build in some kind of depreciation on your own. I sold my two PRXs for pretty much a thousand bucks. I mean, I'd be happy with that. If I, if I had a lot of use out of it, I'd be happy with it. Yeah, I gave him the cover, so I, I think I well, lost that. Maybe he out. got a good deal. Huh? Yeah, he, he, he did see, get a good deal. Yeah, he got I, he ripped me off. <laughs> no, he didn't rip you off. He didn't rip me off, but he got a really good deal because I gave him the covers, and I thought about it afterwards. I was like, man, I should have kept those covers because I could have sold them without the covers for the same exact price. You're like, what are you gonna do with the covers? Well, that's the thing. That's what the thing I was thinking in my head. I was like, what the hell am I gonna do with the covers? I was feeling so bad because when he came and previewed them, I was like, man, they, they sound good. <laughs> they sound really good. Yeah, I was like. I was kind of bluffing. I told them my plan. I was like, man, I want to sell my speakers and upgrade. And I put a stem up on Facebook. I didn't think I was going to sell them. Literally within the week, I was calling them back. I was like, now I need the speakers because they're gone. This is DAS demo right here. This is their double A team right here. This is for like somebody that needs a specific size for a cable. No, somebody, a lot of people come and they just buy it by bulk and then like by the foot and then they, they solder their own connectors on the connectors that are on the wall. Oh there. really? You buy, oh I didn't know that. These are the actual connections over here. So guys, these are, uh, these are going to be the new ones. So we're, this is an uh, official Canal Street unboxing. Yeah, Canal you know, sound and we, light. We always unbox them and, and plug them in and test them for the, in front of the customer. Right. To make sure everything so, uh, is copacetic. They're going to check these out, make sure that uh, 
Everything sounds good. Can we grab a PRX 715 from the back? I just want to do a size comparison. So here's a little side-by-side -side comparison uh, between the PRX 715 and the 815 SRX. It's a bigger cabinet, but this one's a little taller. Maybe just like a little hair is a little taller. The SRX also has a grip on top, so you can grab a handle here, handle on side. Handle on the side. This one only has a, a handle on the left side. Yeah, it's a deeper cabinet. I, I was kind of nervous. I was like, oh man, they're gonna be way bigger. That's not too bad at a difference, though. The pro piece. Pro piece. Say it again. Pro, pro piece. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So this is it, guys. This is what I'm gonna be rocking with now. What about wait. Try it, Christian. This is what we were using. Oh yeah. Yeah. Let's try here. Oh yeah. This is way heavier. 10, 15 pounds heavier. We're gonna check these out, make sure everything is like you said, copacetic. Oh, these use a uh, power con too, right? Yeah. Uh, IEC. IEC? IEC. Locking IEC. All right, here we go. We're giving these bad boys a little demo. SRX 7815. <laughs> You can definitely hear it on the low end. On the low end is the main thing I just noticed just now. The bass was it's pretty it's deep. A, it's a pretty very deep punchy. bass, very punchy. Yeah. It's heavy, right? Yeah. <laughs> That's why they have all the handles. <laughs> yeah. You need two people to carry. What do you think? Dual 18s fit in there or what? <laughs> hey, George. All right, guys. We uh, loaded it up. Jeffrey from Canal. Thank you so much, my thank friend. You. Thank you. Well, I appreciate it. it. Is there anything you want to plug? Well, you know, just keep seeing us on social media. Canal Sound Light. Right uh, here. Instagram Canal Sound Light or Facebook Canal Sound Light. No and on the. The tag. So uh, I'll link him down below if you guys want to check him out. I'll also list the address and store. If you guys are ever in New York City, feel free to stop by, ask for Jeffrey, and uh, tell him the bar sent you. Yeah. He's gonna hook you up with great deals. Yeah, <laughs> awesome, man. Thank you so much. All right, so you guys saw that last scene where we said goodbye to Jeffrey. Uh, that was like an hour ago, and well, we were stuck outside of his store for another hour. We got stuck in traffic pretty much right outside of his store and we just finally started moving. I was gonna wait until I got home to end the vlog, but it was just, we were waiting for so long that we did a drive-through uh, with one of the hot dog stands. We literally just opened up the window and asked the guy to give us some food. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I'm really excited about the purchase. Um, we just purchased two of the SRX uh, speakers, JBL 815. I do have a gig tomorrow, but I'm not sure if I'm gonna be bringing out the new SRX speakers or if I'm gonna bring out the PVs because I still have to unbox these and I wanna make a dedicated video for that even though we did unbox them at the store but i do want to make a dedicated video for that so uh stay tuned for that i'm thinking of maybe next week i do the wedding from next week i bring these out for the first time but uh that's it me and christian are gonna sign off we finally made it inside of the tunnel we're not moving very fast but we're inside the tunnel so we are going home Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you liked it, please be sure to like it, subscribe if you're new around here, and if you really want to help us out, please be sure to turn on that bell. Signing off, your boy, your homie, DJ Bar. Stay awesome, bros. Peace. Tap it, Christian.